Good morning, it is Monday the 11th of November 2019. Thank you for joining us today. In the news, the number of patients with diabetes is growing. Radioactive materials should be used safely. Cooperation between Surinamese and French Coast Guard raised to a higher level. And the Vegetarian Food Festival closed yesterday. The number of patients with diabetes mellitus is growing is increasing in Suriname. It is estimated that between 10 and 15 percent of people in the Caribbean die of diabetes. This emerged on Friday morning in the program Mantintaki during an interview in connection with World Diabetes, which is on November the 14th. This year's theme is family and diabetes. Diabetes is not just about adapted nutrition, but exercise is also important. There are two types of diabetes, namely insulin dependent or type 1 that occurs in children, teenagers and young adults. And then you have type 2 that occurs in humans with risk factors such as obesity, abdominal obesity, physical inactivity, alcohol consumption, smoking and an unhealthy diet. The type 2 diabetes mellitus can be prevented. That's why it's important that parents pay close attention to what they are feeding their, their children at an early age. It's not a coincidence that the emphasis this year is on family during the World Diabetes Day. People who suffer from diabetes need support. And World Diabetes is made possible part by the International Diabetes Federation, the IDF, and the World Health Organization. The use of radioactive sources in Suriname means a lot for our health sector. In order not to be exposed to ionic or radioactive radiation, the sources should be used safely. Experts from the International Atomic Energy Agency are talking with the Ministry of Health and other stakeholders about the use of ionic rays. The IEA was established in 1957. The headquarters of this organization is in Vienna, Austria. International, there are 15 laboratories and 171 countries affiliated with the organization. The working method of the Atomic Agency is based on three parts, namely science and technology, safety and security, and guarantee and verification. IAEA is also active in the Caribbean in the form of technical cooperation programs. Suriname could bene also benefit from this. Our country is not yet a member of the International Atomic Energy Agency, and the request for this was made a few weeks ago, and now it lies in the hands of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for further processing. The cooperation between the Surinamese and the French Coast Guards will be raised to a higher level. The focus is on guaranteeing maritime safety in the territorial waters of Suriname and French Guyana. Soon, a joint statement will be signed on this point in which the agreements are included. Another form of protection that is included in this agreement has to do with the economic goals of Suriname and the neighboring country. According to the director, Jerry Slenghardt, this should result in effective monitoring and tackling of undesirable practices in the shared border waters. Both institutes have recently started talking about the joint approach of criminal activities in the territorial waters in the east. The focus is on common features of these surfaces, and these will be applied in the field of maritime safety policy. And at last, for today, healthy nutrition is the foundation of a stable body to prevent diseases such as type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure. These diseases could be reduced if our way of eating is combined with exercise. This was the common threat yesterday at the 8th Vegetarian Food Festival, which closed yesterday. In addition to the different variations in vegetarian food, visitors also received information about a, health, a healthy lifestyle. An outlier in this was the connection between alkaline water and a healthy body. This technique 
was invented in Japan and is already implemented in various countries for combating, among other things, chronic diseases. That concludes the local news for today. Tomorrow we'll be back again with a new edition. Until then, bye-bye.